Okay, okay. So let me tell you, okay, Priya, can, uh, so do you want to say something about this protocol? No, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, there is a protocol which name is FTP. This means file transfer protocol, okay? Uh, this protocol is responsible for transfer of data between client and server, okay? Fine. Like we have a server somewhere and there's an ISP between the server and a client. This is me, client, who's executing a website, okay? Actually, is that website, okay? I need to download an antivirus from the from a server. Okay. I put up the website on my web page www.avast.com. Have you heard about the antivirus name Avast? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is just an example. Okay. I just put up uh, just www.avast.com. There I will find which button? Download button there. Download free anti virus and i click that button and it will start downloading process that is an icon of download it will start downloading process in my computer okay so for that protocol there's only one for that process there's only one protocol that is responsible here which protocol is this this is ftp protocol ftp that is file transfer protocol okay then it will send acknowledgement but that will be one side, uh, one side data sharing. Okay, in all the download files, uh, downloaded uh, when you will find a download button, there will be only one way communication. I mean that will there uh, there you will find a download button, and at that time you can only download the data. You cannot upload the data at some uh, at the same time simultaneously, because there is a there is some security processor that you cannot. You will not allow to upload data on any on, on any server. Okay. So this is done by FTP protocol. Okay. And in FTP, you will find two different processes. Okay. First is control connection. Okay. And second one is data connection. Okay. So in control connection, the process in this process, this is this protocol is responsible for the open and shut the time or open and shut the time or session to download data. Okay, this is the this is the uh, this is the protocol that is responsible for connection only. That is maintain a connection between these. Maintain the connection in FTP protocol. Okay. Fine. And in data connection, this is responsible to share the data that is either upload or download okay fine both uh, fine hello yes sir okay priya hello 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 yes sir yeah hello second one priya hello Okay, Tija, don't worry, we will continue, okay? So you're getting my point? What are the benefits of this? these two? Yes, Why we are using yes, these two, okay? So the other one protocol that is uh, that is in application layer is which protocol? That is SFTP, okay? This is the same protocol which we, which we have discussed earlier. Uh, this is the same protocol, but if you only put a secured secure if you if you place 
a secure word here okay this is secured file transfer protocol okay yes the difference between these two is that sftp is a secured file transfer file protocol. transfer protocol protocol that means when we will send or receive the data in ftp connection there will be encryption or decryption only okay this means that will follow some security procedure for to save the data okay yes yeah fine that is only the reason okay and third one is tftp protocol tftp protocol okay so why we are using the tftp protocol when we actually uh, we used uh, the full form of tftp is free trivial file transfer protocol okay yes. and this is a part of udp protocol okay udp protocol so have you heard about the tcp or udp protocol Yes, sir. Heard of that? So, yeah, very well. But we will we will uh, specifically discuss about these two protocol in transport layer. Okay, we okay, will sir. discuss about these two protocol in trans transport layer. Transport layer. Okay. So for now, we will we will continue our topic and we will discuss about these protocol transport layer. Okay. So okay, this sir. this layer. Uh, this protocol tftp proto protocol uses the uh, udp connection okay what the yes. meaning of udp connection if any packet loss if any packet loss then it will not be responsible okay okay no one will be responsible okay so in these kind of protocols using small connection small networks like home networks uh, where 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 we we don't have any uh, any precious data any valuable data so there you can use these kind of protocols okay and uh, let me tell you the port number port number for tftp is Six nine. Okay, that is a part of UDP protocol. That's why. Right. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Very well. So now come to the next point. Our next layer that is presentation layer. Okay. So any one of you can tell me what the what the work of the presentation layer. Why we use the presentation layer? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anyone can tell me what the work of presentation layer? Uh, let me text me here. Your voice is not. Oh, the wait a while, please. Yes, sir. Okay. So there's issue with the with the, with the mic uh, of other person. Okay. Uh, dear, dear dear Priya, you can you can connect again. If any issue, then you can disconnect again. Okay, okay. So I will continue. Uh, I will continue the back. Actually, this is also disturbing me. <laughs> okay. So if you have any. An issue, you can text me, okay? Okay, okay, fine. So, other one is on chat, okay? So, Teja, let's continue. So, now discuss uh, about the presentation layer, okay? 
so the presentation layer is responsible for the presentation of data the layer is responsible for the presentation presentation of data okay for the meaning of presentation of data that means this layer is responsible or responsible for first of all translation of data okay translation of data okay second work is encryption and the decryption okay this layer is responsible for encryption and decryption also okay which is done for the confidentiality okay and the third third work is compression data data compression okay the third work is data compression okay and it presents the data to the network okay note down all these points okay this is the work of presentation layer now you will uh, now you will ask what is the meaning of translation of data okay let us take take an example i i uh, yesterday already told you that uh, how do we do encryption and decryption or the compression of the data the data uh, there was the 300 or 400 words which were converted into some, uh, some hardly hardly 50 50 characters 200 to 200 words was were converted to the the same one like i sent the message hello yesterday i told you h e l l o that was encrypted in other language if you if you do rem if you do remember yesterday so that the same work uh, is done by the presentation layer also okay so do i need to discuss these topics again what is the compression or what is the what is the encryption or decryption no, so yesterday i already i already told you that what the work of the uh, work of the, that protocol so that, that is similar work is, is done here okay the okay. encryption and decryption of data and data compression like yesterday i told you that hash to md5 uh, plain to md5 md5 okay yesterday i told you how to convert these data data like just copy this text that was an example yesterday and i generated i generated the data that is only only a few bits that was a, that was a huge data but i i converted the, that data into a few few bits that is done by the that is also done on the presentation layer okay and the compression of data if you want to see a live example of the same, when you send the data from WhatsApp, have you used WhatsApp? Okay. Yeah. So when you send a photo, like one MB of picture, one MB of picture, that is picture from my side, that is one MB of picture. When you send your send a photo or something to your friend, an image when you send to other friend or someone, that becomes 200 KB, but 200 KB. You tried? Anyone tried this? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that uh, uh, that was data compression. Data compression. Okay. Data compression. That is just just a real life example of data compression. I'm not talking about this. <laughs> this is done on presentation layer. This is a real time, a real life example. Okay. Okay, if I talk about talk about the presentation layer in networking, okay, this is my PC, okay, this is my PC one. I'm sending the data to someone in California. If someone is in California, PC two, okay, or somewhere anywhere. So if I send the data then 
there are number of devices in between these two let me make this isp this is isp i send the data through isp okay so the layer work two times and from the sender side sender side it will compress data like i have a data of 1 gb it will be converted to 10 or 100 mb okay this data will be converted to 100 mb and why when i send this data that is done by presentation layer okay station layer and at the receiver side what the presentation layer will do this will this is receiver side it will decompress the data okay data from 100 mb to 1 gb so the compression and decompression is done by which layer hello which layer responsible for the compression and decompression of data presentation layer presentation layer okay okay very well okay <coughs> and you can also note down the encryption and the, the decryption or translation of data okay Fine. I already told you the example of uh, encryption and decryption yesterday. Okay. Now our next layer is session layer. Okay. What is the role of session layer? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Anyone can tell me what is the what the work of session layer? There were several layers. If you do remember, like name name all these layer: application layer, presentation, presentation. Third one is session layer then transport transport layer network network layer data data link layer physical layer and last is physical physical layer so anyone can tell me what what is the uh, which is which one is the first layer in data communication physical physical layer that is first layer and you priya which one is the first layer application application layer okay okay let me tell you correct answer of this okay okay yeah actually that it depends on which side you are asking okay for the sender side for the sender side this is a sender side for the sender side if i talk about the sender side and the receiver side okay for the sender the first layer is application layer and for the receiver the first layer is because data sent from application layer to physical layer then again from sender side the data sent to physical layer then through the cables or the devices again data sent to application, application layer because so the same work is done on the both side if it generate generate data okay if application is the application layer is generating the data here that will go to presentation layer which will which will be translated into coding because uh, you know that the that the data is converted into coding then the session will be initiated 
then transport layer will maintain the UDP or TCP protocol. Then the net network layer will, will start work here to send the data. It will assign the IP addresses. Then data link layer will convert this data, will add the MAC addresses of the data. And after that, the physical layer, which will convert this data into bits. And that will, that will be again data sent to other device here. The data will be in form of bit because the data sent from physical layer in form of because physical layer will transmit the data in form of bits. 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 Okay. Yeah. And the data will again convert it into will be transmitted in the form of bits. And the bits will 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 reach to physical layer again. The data will again convert it into the it into the data in the in the normal data. Then it will the uh, the the data what we say into the normal data then data link layer will will forward this data to network layer network layer will, will forward data to transport layer transport layer again check the check the protocols then we then the data will send to session layer it, it will terminate the session when the data will be finished then send to application layer again at the same data this means if you send a hello message here that will be the hello message will will go through several number of processes and up to physical layer thereafter from physical layer it will goes to other device in to the same layer and it will be the reverse process will be followed okay here you will initiate the process here you will reverse the processes okay okay so yeah so that means from the receiver side application layer is the first layer for the uh, this is for the sender side. Application layer is the first layer. Presentation layer, then session layer, then transport layer, then network layer, then data link layer, and then physical layer. Here, this will be the first layer because you have to reverse all the processes. Okay, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer, and the last one is seventh layer. Okay, so. <laughs> Anyone of you have heard about have heard about the, the packets? What are the packets? Or frames or or bits or PDO. So anyone heard about these words? Can anyone tell me what the meaning of these words? <laughs> No, <laughs> but I have heard when if we ping um, in common packet uh, like IP, then the if we didn't get that, uh, it would be like packet drops. It's a packet packet drops. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Perfect. So I will discuss what is the PDO, what are the packet, what is what is the meaning of frame, what is the meaning of bits. Till then, you can note down. Okay. You can note down this, okay. like. Application layer is follow. I mean, the data transmitted from uh, generated from the application layer that is in form of PDO. Okay. In presentation layer, the data is also in the form of PDO. In session layer, the data is, is in form of PDO. At transport layer, <coughs> just wait a while. Okay, then then the data will be will be converted into packets. Okay, then frames, then bits. Okay. Yes. Fine. So if you talk about the the physical devices, the data is will be forwarded into bits. Okay, and all these will be converted. Okay, I will I will let you know how do we how do we convert the data. Okay, what is the meaning of frame packets and PDU and everything? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine. So let's come to our third layer that is session layer. Okay. Session layer. Okay. Okay. So what is the work of session layer? First of all, the main work of session layer is 
this is a hello message okay this is a hello message okay okay yeah this layer is responsible for the initiation and termination of sessions like i have to send a hello message this layer will will start the session okay mm. first of all this layer will start the session what is the meaning of session what the meaning of session hello teja do you know what the meaning of session no sir okay okay so first of all let me clear what is the meaning of session okay dear <laughs> dear this is a timeline okay someone all allotted you a work okay. so dear please please start my work at at uh, at uh, start our class at 7 pm and end my class at 8 pm okay fine okay i started the zoom meeting at 7 pm okay i mean that means i initiate initiate the session initiate the session okay at at 7 pm and at 8 pm i and the session okay so this means the time of the total time of the session is 1 hour 1 hour is the 1 hour is session okay so session means time to do any activity okay this is the meaning of session okay time to do an any activity fine okay okay so when we send the data from capital media from this device to this device okay this is device a to device b it will take let us assume it will take 2 minutes okay 2 minutes to transfer the data okay how much time is taking 2 minutes okay so 2 minutes is the session time okay mean here the session is of 2 minutes okay session time is 2 minutes okay now you are getting what is the meaning of session <laughs> okay so what session will do if i send a if i am sending the hello message okay this is a hello message okay if i'm sending hello message and it will take 3 minutes to send the data from my my device to other device this is device receiver here in my from sender to to receiver the total timing the total session will be generated by session will be generated by the session will be generated by session layer okay okay yeah it will initiate the session that now you can start to send the data it will inform the device that you can start the start to sending the data when the hello will reach to other other uh, the, the receiver it will send what acknowledgement that i have received the data you can terminate the session okay okay let me tell you more clear, clearly that i have to send the data from a to b okay and yes. i have initiated the data hello then it will it will <coughs> it will ask b that can i send the data everything is ready so it will start sending the data and you know whenever the device asks to send the data and is everything is okay what the other, other device will send acknowledgement okay? Mm. okay so acknowledgement will be sent from b to a that everything is okay you can send the data then we will start to send the data hello message to b when it will it will be received by b it will send a acknowledgement and session will be terminated terminated okay okay so okay. so session layer will will be terminated okay, okay. so the work of the session layer is to is to start the session 
okay right. and the session and you know there is some process in starting and the end what is the what is that process it's basically create the bridge between uh, sender and receiver to have mm -hmm. active communication between maintaining the session session can i write, write down this one okay. <laughs> so what else yes. we will do start the session that means initiation okay okay maintain the session that means that means monitoring okay. and in technical you can say termination, termination. Okay? okay now session layer is clear to everyone yes teja is this fine any query do you have no sir fine, okay sir. okay perfect perfect so i will discuss something uh, some <laughs> also so, something here okay Actually, there is the three main processes in the session layer in monitoring. Okay. During the time of monitoring or maintaining, the session will pro will process uh, will follow the th three process that is authentication, session. Second one is auto authorization, and third one is accounting. Okay. So can anyone tell me what the meaning of uh, authentication? Have you heard about the authentication? This is a part of monitoring, okay? You well know about the starting and end of the session? Now we are discussing about the monitoring of the session. So what the meaning of authentication? Mm, granting permission or identity. Yeah, very well. Granting permission. But how, how a device can grant permission? If you, it will check the validity, if you are valid, valid or not. How it will check through pass, password or encryption okay or passwords you can you can note down the passwords okay here there will be some kind of passwords okay that if you have permission that you must have some kind of data authentication okay authentication means passwords okay that that must be some password following or some some criteria of security behind behind the behind all this process that it will grant permission if if you are a valid user okay and this will this process will be followed in authorization if the if the person is valid if the sender is valid then it will allow to allow to send the data or or receive the data because uh, a session layer will work, will work on both the sides uh, either sender side or receiver side so if you are a, if you are a valid valid uh, valid person valid device then you can send the data if you are not a valid person or valid if you are not a valid device then you cannot allow to send the data okay accounting that means that will that will store the store the proceedings in in database okay how it will maintain the maintain the maintain the maintain the table where it will it will it will store that that the, the session timing was two minutes okay the, the data transferred of 10 mb so that will be that will be done in accounting process okay okay yeah so and also generate the acknowledgement also that data is sent you can you can terminate the session 
this process will inform that you can terminate the session after starting or end the session. Okay. Okay. Fine. So yes, sir. clear. What yes, is the work of monitoring? Okay. So I already uh, already discussed about uh, about something that is also a part of session layer like half duplex devices. full duplex devices or simplex devices if you do remember I already did discuss all these devices okay so this is the layer which is responsible to maintain all these devices okay now if we talk about the full duplex devices this is the layer fully responsible for making the devices full, full duplex okay here termination the session and everything is done on this layer okay mm -hmm. i already discussed, discussed uh, these devices so i i don't uh, i think it's not uh, <laughs> i don't need to discuss these again okay mm -hmm. okay okay very well so our next layer is which one the trans the transport layer okay transport layer okay so may i know what is the meaning of transport layer what is the meaning of transport first um, sending or moving data from here to there very well Theda, do you want to say something <laughs> no sir in fact <laughs> okay 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 fine so dear, uh, the meaning of transportation is if we th talk about the transportation, transportation means means sending or receiving something. Okay. That may be anything. Okay. That means transportation. Okay. If I have to, if I have myself to, if I just want to travel from one city to another city, I will also train, find some transport means. Okay. Thereafter, I can travel from one one place to another place. That means that means the transport layer is responsible for the transmission of data. And how how the transmission of data is done via protocols. Okay, which with the protocols belong to TCP protocol, TCP or UDP protocol. There are a number of TCP and UDP protocols. Okay. Fine. So I have a question. <laughs> okay, you can take some time. Okay. Yeah. Have you heard about ICMP signal? ICMP. Ping command. Ping command. Have you used the, used the ping command anytime? To check the connectivity, we oftenly use this ping command. I mean, like in command prompt? Uh, ping yeah, in IPS. command prompt, yeah, yeah, ping that one. Yeah. So now you will tell me that is ping command is a part of TCP or UDP? Which one? Mm -hmm. You can take the time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know this that deep, so I'll give it to you, sir. Even I'm curious. Actually, actually, the TCP is not belong to any of these. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is a separate signal, which is used for that. That is used for troubleshooting. Okay. To check the connectivity of devices from 
anywhere okay you can check any connectivity between the devices if i am sitting in noida you can check the check my system is working or not from there my connectivity working or my server is working or not i i only use the ping command that is the only command for the which is used for to check the connectivity without sending any data okay okay and that is belong that is belong to icmp signal okay fine okay yeah if you want I to think for uh, that we need to have a vpn access right so if you want to if yes. like i am sitting in hyderabad i'm uh, doing work from some other there i have to have a vpn <laughs> access for right yeah you need a dear vpn is used for vpn is a virtual private network okay okay let me tell you what is the work of vpn dear <laughs> dear i have two different uh, setups like you are sitting in hyderabad and your company has a setup in 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 noida also let's take an example okay? okay so how many ways in how many ways you can send or receive the data how many means do you have to send or receive the data that is let me note down some that is first way that is okay that is another way to send the data because the offices must be synchronized the data must be synchronized between these two offices okay this is second way and this is third way okay okay yeah this is third one okay okay first one is isp okay simple data transfer is this a reliable or the, is this secured data transfer no if i'm sending my precious data i'm sitting in hyderabad i'm sending data to mumbai or or in noida through through my isp so is this okay to send the data no and if i use a lease line lease line a dedicated line dedicated line is this okay to send the data from this line from dedicated line mm, i don't know sir dear dedicated line is end to end end to end data transfer medium okay if i want to send the data from my hyderabad office to my noida office there will be separate connection will be available separate data transfer line cables will be available specially for my connection that line is called dedicated line okay oh, okay yeah okay. but that is highly highly cost expensive highly expensive you can say highly expensive that uh, a normal organization cannot uh, cannot uh, use afford these this. yeah cannot afford this this okay. if you if you talk about not about noida i am getting 1 lakh 1 lakh of dedicated server of 10 mbps <laughs> 10 mbps of how dedicated server in one lakh and you need multiple <laughs> multiple connection to uh, to increase the data efficiency or the or the bandwidth bandwidth is only 10 10 mbps if i want to take 1 gb that will be really costly okay yes in that case what i will use i will use my normal isp okay okay i will use normal isp normal isp but in addition with in addition with i will add what with my sp i will add what vpn, VPN. Okay. okay okay yeah a uh, vpn is a type of security process in which what you will do multiple time encryption multiple time encryption multiple and encryptions okay using which process vpn no 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 which process in 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 vpn there is a process called tunneling oh, okay okay <laughs> that means i just made made in third case what i made that is a 
I made a tunnel. tunnel. Yeah, between my both the devices. Actually, this is not a part of CCNA, but mm. I'm just explaining this. Okay, for for your knowledge. Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. So you you made a, a VPN. Okay. <laughs> and in VPN, what we will follow? This is three dash process. Okay. Three dash process. In security, we will process three dash process. That means three time of encryption. Okay. I will I will discuss further. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so Teja, this is not the part of yet part of uh, of this protocol. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. That is just for the knowledge. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, just wait a minute. My uh, that's my call. Urgent call. Okay. Okay. Teja. Yeah, hi, Pira. Hi. Are you noting everything down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Awkward silence. <laughs> you are from, by the way? Hyderabad. Oh, really? Same. I'm yeah. from also Hyderabad. Where do you live? Yeah. Uh, do you know Bolaram, Alwal Bolaram? Oh, far. I do live in you? Begum Bazaar. Begum Bazaar, okay. Uh, Charmyard side, if you know. Mm, yeah. Near High Court, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think so, he's from Noida. Because he has taken that example. What? I think so, he's from Noida. Ah, uh, yeah. Hindi Your mother tongue is Telugu, right? Yeah. Mm. I can guess Telugu. from the accent. <laughs> Even I'm, my mother tongue is also Telugu. Hello. Hello. Hi, sir. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Okay. So, are you getting uh, this one? So, yes. uh, our next topic was transport layer. Okay. Yeah. Transport layer. Okay. Okay, so uh, have you ever heard about uh, the three-way handshake? What is the meaning of three-way handshake? Three-way handshake. Three-way handshake. Yeah. No, sir. Okay, you don't. You have never heard about the three-way handshake. No. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> three-way handshake is the main process in TCP protocol. This is the only reason. We are using the TCP process protocol everywhere. Okay, this is the main process protocol. Uh, this is the main process in TCP protocol. But the meaning of three-way handshake. First of all, let me tell you. This is my device. Okay, this is my XY device. XYZ device. Let me name okay. this one XYZ. Okay. Hmm. And my other device name is that is ABC. Okay. Okay. If I am using the TCP protocol from XYZ to ABC, so first of all, TCP protocol will send a signal. What signal? That is hello signal. Okay. Hello signal. Or we, we, we can say this signal is synchronization signal. That are you okay? You can receive the data or not. Okay. I'm saying, okay. This okay. meaning that, that are you synchronized? You're working or not. Okay. This okay. what what the other device will send in in the reply it will send what I already told you many uh, already told you in last in last example that is that is acknowledgement okay mm. yeah. acknowledgement plus again it will send that are you also read, ready to receive the data okay? okay so it will also send hello plus hello that means again it will send same signal that you also receive the data because this is this is a uh, this is this communication is full duplex communication so are you also available to receive the data then it will also send it will also send what it will also send it will also send which message what else? which message acknowledgement okay okay, okay. Okay, fine. First of all, 
device xyz which was sender sender asked the receiver sir can i send the data he told me yes you can send the data but you are also ready to receive the data okay 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 the meaning of this word is are, yes i am ready but are you also ready to receive the data it then so he it, reply like yes he will reply yes i am reply yes i am at, yes i am okay to receive the data, data. okay, okay. Okay. This process is called. This process is called three-way, three, handshake. yeah, three-way handshake, hand shake process. Okay. Okay. In some technical terms, in in technical terms, let me tell you properly that <coughs> that how it will process that. in every time whenever i have i, I will send the data whenever i will send the data in form of segments okay in form of segments or bits or packets any any word you can you can use okay mm -hmm. because data is will be sent in form of sliced there the, the data will be sliced to send the data okay slide the data will be sliced sliced is slide means we will cut the data in segment when the device send the data that will cut the data in multiple segments okay that okay. will slicing after slicing when it will send the data in form of segments to segments the segment then it will every time it will send the data it will do the acknowledgement okay let me show you show you how it will process okay okay there is a there is a sender which name is xyz other is receiver okay okay this is a data let me take some more space okay this is a data i'm sending from sender to receiver abc okay 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 first of all i will uh, the devices will do the segments okay these are some segments okay this will the break data into multiple parts okay we are not talking not talking about the ip addresses or the mac addresses whatever we will discuss in next layers what is the ip addresses or mac addresses okay okay for now you can just just see the data okay this is data this is the same process following upside so can i copy this let me copy this one okay okay first copy and paste like this okay? okay but this time okay okay so i divided my data this is my data okay into multiple segment like one segment number one segment number two that this is a sli slicing process done here Five and six. Okay. First of all, I will send data number one. Okay. I am sending the data number one. Okay. Okay. This is the data number one. I am sending from sender to receiver. So when it will send, it will receive the data. It will send the acknowledgement. Okay. Acknowledgement here. Acknowledgement and will tell that you can again send the data. And it will, it will send acknowledgement also. Okay, mm -hmm. so every time, so when it will be received, the data. So, the data started transfer from X Y Z. It will be reached to A B C. A B C will send the acknowledgement that the data is received. Okay, again it will send acknowledgement. Okay, okay. acknowledgement will be again sent. Then we'll pick out data number two, that is segment number two. It will, it will first of all, it will, it will send a sync signal. That can I send the data? Then it will send the data. Then it then will get the acknowledgement. Then, then reverse acknowledgement. Okay, data two has has been sent. Okay, again third third time it will also follow this process, this process, this process. Okay, data will okay. be sent. Okay. Now, now you can see every time, every time what the what the devices are doing, what the devices are doing. Sync signal. 
then acknowledgement then again sync and acknowledgement okay this is single process actually this process so when we use the tcp protocol it will every time check that the data is sent or not data is sent or sent or not that why this protocol is somehow what somehow tcp protocol is somehow what slow protocol okay because it is checking the every time it is checking data sent or not data each and every segment is sent or not sent or not okay that means this is a slow protocol okay and if we check the udp if you talk about the udp protocol okay there is nothing yeah user datagram protocol yeah if i talk about the just wait a while so we will get the pdf so after the section right yes i will send i will send this these slides the in your in the group yeah i will also send the recorded backup okay, okay don't worry you. about that so okay so if i talk about the udp protocol okay in this protocol there is no acknowledgement but no acknowledgement, acknowledgement. okay that means that means there is a device this this one device this is other device take an example x y z this is a b c so if if x y z has to send the data to a b c or a b c has to send the data to x y z in in which in which protocol udp protocol so there will be no acknowledgement they only check check once all the devices will check once that it the connect the device is connected or not okay okay once it will check once it will check and start data flow with no acknowledgement, acknowledgement. okay okay so so there is no acknowledgement syncing signal that's why this protocol is faster faster compared because my data this was my data data this was my data i started sending this data and i'm oh, sorry sorry yeah, i started sending this data and directly send all the data to abc without any acknowledgement or nor we do have to break the data as well yeah yeah okay. we have no rules and regulation for the break the data if in case if in case mm -hmm. if it will happen that the data is lost in my communication this part of data has been lost in my in my communication communication that can i recover this data mm -hmm. i guess no we no, cannot we recover yeah we cannot recover this data because if you ever have seen the live streaming of the cricket if your connection is lost between the between the yeah, yeah between the, so we cannot again check them what was happening last ball <laughs> yeah if you miss that one that one ball then you cannot again check so you have to download again okay all the all the streaming okay so yeah. in in so the best example for the udp protocol is live streaming Extreme. okay live streaming okay. or video calls on on uh, you can take take the example of whatsapp okay okay yeah whatsapp that is also an example of that one okay so if you if you uh, if the, uh, on the video calling like i'm doing some video call at my home if my data connection lost so so can i can i see that what was happened in last uh, last moment no. <laughs> no so there i am using udp protocol because i am not responsible for the data loss here okay okay no one is responsible that's why i use udp protocol okay okay yeah and i already told you the the, the example of uh, example of uh, tcp protocol what was the example if you if you want to download some file or something so you must have you must have the proper data 
in every every connection except of uh, some few connection we are using which protocol uh, tcp pro protocol is mostly used because we our data is very precious if i am sending the hello message on whatsapp hello message on whatsapp that is also using tcp protocol if i'm chatting because there is no no data loss if i'm if i'm sending the hello message then the receiver will 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 also receive the hello message okay yeah that is also an example and you also get the acknowledgement from there yeah data has been sent <laughs> that is blue tick you can see oh. okay <laughs> yes, yes. yeah so that is also an example of of tcp tcp protocol okay that is live example okay, okay. so so today we have finished the transport, transport layer okay transport layer and you also get the differences okay so you can also say that tcp tcp protocol guarantee guarantee the data okay okay yeah and udp udp does not okay fine yes and tcp do sync the row synchronization and between the devices between devices but udp doesn't okay yes okay that's all for today fine can we can we uh, end up the lecture now are we not discussing uh, the other three layers so yeah we will also yes we will also discuss they are actually the uh, actually uh, i uh, counselor told me to take the starting lectures of one hour only because there may be some more student will be add add in your group also in a, okay. on tomorrow or day or tomorrow so that's why we are taking one hour sessions okay okay, okay. on tomorrow okay. and tomorrow on uh, tomorrow we will also take one one hour lecture and and day or day after tomorrow then we will start one and half or two hours of lecture okay okay no issue okay so you both are okay with one hour one hour now yes sir. no issue and the lectures are entertaining Yes, they are. Very sir. Okay, 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 perfect. Okay, so my name is Ravish, and I also have my LinkedIn profile. I will share. Don't worry, okay. Uh, yes. Sorry, come again, sir. Ah, uh, my name Ravish. is Ravish. Ravish. Ravish is my name. Okay. But I can see Neeraj. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is my other. Yeah, that is my name. Don't worry, that is my Zoom name. name. Yeah, Zoom name. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, everyone. Goodbye. Thank Please you, revise. Sir. Okay, I yeah, will send sure. the slide in group also. Okay, both okay, of sir. these days. Okay. Thank you, sir. Most welcome. Bye. Bye, Bye sir. Bye, Bye Tejo. Bye, bye.